just like black gold ak oil clean energy sources like solar and wind depend on white gold or green gold minerals and metals like copper cobalt zinc silver and especially lithium these are the raw materials that go into making batteries that power electric vehicles and other clean technologies the issue some of them like lithium are only available in few parts of the world where a veritable geopolitical gold rush has begun for control of these assets just like nations going into war for oil in the past there is now a cold war over these resources india is in an unenviable position the feasibility of the lithium deposits in kashmir and rajasthan is yet to be ascertained meanwhile china with its edge in new technologies and influence over mining contracts in africa and south america where minerals like lithium are found is dangerously ahead in the race Obviously, India is not going to let China have a walkover. The government has started production-linked incentives for advanced cell chemistry. While most of the biggies of India in cooperation, Tata, Ambani, Mahindra, Adani, are jumping on the bandwagon, having revealed the intent to invest heavily in new age energy. Yet, it is mostly in inconspicuous startup campuses that the revolution has begun. The week brings you the story of one such startup, Loham. It takes used battery packs from electric cars and two-wheelers primarily and rips out hard-to-get minerals and metals like lithium for reuse. It's very important for us to understand how to solve for these materials as we think about the broader energy transition. Loham decided to explore the journey into securing these materials for the nation uh, and uh, certainly for the world in general as it tries to transition to uh, cleaner and greener sources of energy essentially the company uses patent technology to give a deep tech spin to the great indian jagad if you do have it just reclaim and adapt loham in fact is one of the biggest billing itself as the world's largest producer of sustainable battery raw materials through recycling loham has its own cleaning and extraction process developed and patented by its 500 strong research and development team battery packs are first dismantled to figure out how many good cells are left the good ones go to a repurposing facility while the bad ones go for recycling Each material of value is extracted and goes through its own unique process. China is estimated to have around 40,000 recyclers, while Loham is possibly one of just two in India. That could change soon once the windfall of batteries from the initial crop of bikes and cars turn up for recycling. Meanwhile, these companies are not ready to rest on their laurels.